talk about being distracted and more distracted. We're here to talk about maybe the season premiere review of Beavis and Butthead. Mike judges Beavis and Butthead exclusively on Paramount Plus. Okay. Where to begin? They gave us two episodes slash four episodes, whichever way you want to see it. And let me try to remember what was it? Frick, I don't. Oh, yeah. Um, it was Escape Room was the first one. Then after that, of course, it was the chosen one, <laughs> my special one. And then after that, what was the third one? The third one was crap. What was the third one? Frick, I don't remember the third one. And the fourth one was bees. <laughs> yep, something about bees. Are we trying to remember the third one? Come on, come on. In, 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 in. It's like I'm trying to remember the third one, and I can't remember it for my life's sake. It kind of sad, isn't it? <laughs> it's like. Did it not actually do something awesome? Did it not entertain? I don't remember, so oh well. <clears throat> no, it was a dr Oh yes, boxed in. That was it, boxed in. Oh my gosh. Okay, so from what I can tell, the thing is that is Beavis and the Butthead, they're back awesome. But it's like, yeah, the sad part is that now you're dealing with the issue. We got to still talk about season eight, a.k.a. the lost season compared to this one, because the lost season did not decide to be like, oh, they went into the future thanks to a black hole. Instead, they just kept on going as if they were dropped into 2011. No biggie, no big deal. And I'm like, I kind of like the idea of the lost season because at least that was OK. Versus this one where it's like, oh, well, now they're fish out of water. Now they actually have to learn about the new technology and stuff that they missed and everything. And it's like, and you don't do it. <laughs> it's kind of like what I was trying to say about freaking Seinfeld. Seinfeld had like, what, 190 episodes? And 10 years later, which is basically they were sentenced to jail for 10 years. I'm like... Come back with 10 episodes of Seinfeld talking about how things have changed. It's been 10 years. They missed 10 years of advancements and stuff, and they can joke about it. No one thought that would have actually worked. And I was like, this is some bullshit. It's like, because you have material now. You have material. We're here now, and we have material of where it's like, okay, so let me get this straight. You have, and we see this in the third episode. Third episode, there is no classmates that they know whatsoever. Where the hell is their previous classmates? What did they do with their life? Where the hell are they? I would have loved it if, you know, their teacher, and hopefully you don't hear the background, but chances are you fucking do. But we have in the third episode, we see that the original teacher of them has actually still stayed and he didn't age a day. What? <laughs> There's no way how he doesn't have gray hair. There's no way how he's not losing missing least missing hair. There's no freaking way. And you're trying to make me understand and telling me that oh he's the same person. Next you're gonna be like oh the principal is still the principal. And I'm like, man, it's been twenty how many? 1998 to 2022. That actually is 24 years. The principal should be fucking dead. <laughs> the principal should be either dead or he's retired. He should be happy and retired. Bees and Butthead is someone else's problem now. It's the new principal, which we haven't met the new principal yet. The coach, the PE coach, we haven't seen him yet. Pretty sure he most likely should be fucking old. It's like, at least show that some of the freaking damn people are old because you jumped 24 years into the damn future. I'm sorry that I shouldn't care about this and just be in my head. But I'm like, no, you did a special where they went into the damn future. Now you got to show things have changed. Things have changed. So now you have to freaking show what changed, damn it. 
It's like I would have liked it if um I forgot who was it. But the blondie guy that tried to be a part of Beavis and Butthead, even though Beavis is blonde, I would like him to actually become a teacher. I would like him to be the teacher. That would be kind of fucking cool. Even though that would be messed the freak up, but I guess he should be like some other teacher, not their main teacher. Just saying. So, <sighs> let's go by episode by episode. So, Escape Room is perfect. This is just so something brand new. There was two girls who actually chose Beavis and the Butthead to be a part of their group. Beavis and the Butthead took the wrong door because Butthead actually had thought he said right was right and left was wrong. But Beavis was trying to tell him that left was right and right is wrong. But oh, well, they went to the bathroom. And then after that, they actually had their moment trying to escape from the bathroom because Beavis did not actually read the pull sign. So they went into the bathroom. The, key, the the girls knew they were in the bathroom. They didn't actually try to at least open the door and be like, hey, come on. Or ding, ding, ding. come on, guys, let's go. But nope. So they did some crazy stuff and said that the mummy was disgusting. And because no one actually flushed the toilet. Yeah, thank goodness they didn't put it in their pocket because, well, in the video game, they sure did. So they broke into another restroom which i was asking where's the ladies room and it turns out there's a vent connecting the ladies room from the men's room i'm shocked that there wasn't many people having some <clears throat> in that freaking bathroom if the men's bathroom and the women's bathroom are just connected by a freaking vent that means that if you know there's at least four people in the bathroom. One guy who's pushing for the lookout and the other one who actually will be going in for it. And a girl will also be over there on the other side and just pushing the door so he can't get in. And they both are just making out. And, you know, I'm just saying that this is some horrible freaking idea that someone made. But whatever. Yeah, so they went to the girls' last room. They freaking just flushed the stuff from tampons to toilet paper and stuff. And then they left, and the freaking thing flooded. And, of course, the girls already found two new guys. And the two new guys were able to pick them up. It's like, damn. And, well, when the guy actually came in, and he opened the door, so they're free now. They're like, the guy was like, these girls are some gross bastards. Because it's like, yeah, he kind of should have figured out that the girls didn't do this, considering... They were waiting out. I don't know. But anyways, it ended with them going to the escape room and Beavis actually taking a dump in the freaking coffin of the mummy. <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. The Chosen One is different. The Chosen One, actually, we saw how it ended thanks to a leak online or a sneak preview it's like yeah it wasn't that good i'm sorry to be a jerk and it's like the freaking flame should have been a little bit more hardcore like let's burn some shit at least when it comes to the whole thing of where you should recycle by throwing everything into me it's like yeah feed him feed the flame and that didn't happen. It's like, son of a bitch. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's funny. But on the other hand, I'm like, kind of would have liked Beavis to be an arsonist for like one moment. It would have been kind of cool. But nope. Boxed in. Well, Beavis has a drill. Don't know where he got it from. I mean, again, the guy who they used to actually go with, he is most likely... What, are they 15 years old? So I'm pretty sure he might be the same age. That means that they, he should be like 39 years old, which means that his son should be in the freaking group right now. Allegedly, I don't know. But it's like, yeah, so they can't go and take his power tools anymore unless, you know, the family is still there and they're still able to go into their freaking um, garage. So power tool... The, the teacher doesn't like that. Eventually, the teacher took it away and said, you'll get this back in one week. So they decided to actually plan to do something. They went into a box hiding as if they're freaking snake. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so, yeah, they tried to actually be like snake and they emptied out some books, red books. So half of them went into the trash, thanks to Butthead, and a few of them went on the floor, thanks to Beavis. 
They went into the freaking thing, and then a sudden, all of a sudden, the freaking custodian was like, I'm going to tape up this box, put this box on the lowest one, take these other two boxes, and take them down to the basement. Damn. So now they're stuck at the basement as in the bottom box. Damn. And they were just trying to freaking make it. And sadly, there was not enough air. And luckily, Beavis was able to kick one of his f legs out. But it's like I thought they would just start digging their way out of it. But nope. And the box crumbles because there's two boxes on top of it. But thanks for them being missing for one week. And uh, authorities apparently are looking for them. Even though I'm like, hmm, what exactly would they? Oh, besides, you know the special they actually know some secret and since they know a certain secret that means that if anyone knows about that secret they could actually use that senator to do some crap so i'm like okay i guess that's why someone would actually maybe kidnap them but considering they understand that these two are idiots who would kidnap them and they would even have a hard time saying crap because well again yeah, so I guess the authorities care anyways. So one week passed, and apparently with one, one week, without Beavis and Butthead, they were actually able to crack out those red books because they were able to get through their work. So they got through their work. The red books that were half thrown away and half on the floor, which wonder what the custodian did with the books on the floor, they brought them out, but they just revealed that Beavis and Butthead are both in the damn freaking box. And Butthead, Beavis actually grabbed the freaking drill. So the plan worked, even though they're dehydrated, they have lack of air, and they're most likely hungry as frick. And they haven't even used the restroom, but considering there was this one episode where they actually didn't use number one for like two weeks because they forgot how to use it. <laughs> I think they're pretty much okay. <laughs> So yeah, there you go. And then we get to the second episode, in quotations episode. Oh yeah, no, there was like something of, uh, I know that the guy that did the tattoos, he was the first one on TikTok. And then there's some, I don't know. I don't give a crap. <laughs> and they did do a music one. I think it was the second one that had the music one was light it up like dynamite it's like oh frick and Beavis revealed that he liked that song and but it was like no get the fuck out of the house get the fuck out of the house and don't you dare return you said that this song rocks this song's kick ass get the fuck out of here and i'm like what the fuck man <laughs> it's like come on it's not that bad i mean do i care about the song not necessarily but i'm not gonna diss someone because you like the song not unless it's all Lizzo songs. Oh, freak Lizzo. Oh, <laughs> it's like, yeah, if you, you like Lizzo, get the fuck out of here. If you think you're going to play the first song she ever made, get the fuck out of here. It's about damn time to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you're not going to play any Lizzo songs in this house. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Playing in the freaking streets. <laughs> uh, anyways, mm, I think that's about all that I can remember besides S&M. Which I forgot if it was the first one or second one. But yeah, that one kind of like a little bit of a dumb piece of trash there. No offense, but S that S&M with that girl there, I'm like, it has too many damn questions on this. The only question I have before I continue on with three and four is, why the fuck do you have 100 markers, damn it? <laughs> they make a 100 marker big box? What the fuck? <laughs> Since when? <laughs> And that, why do you need that much? It seems to me you're not an artist. Oh, fuck. Ouch. Yeah, because you don't have any of your drawings or artworks around, so I don't see you actually being using those for that. Apparently, you just bought them just to do this crap. And I'm like, again, I ask why. I think the 12 marker or 10 marker set is good enough. This 100 one is overkill. I have so many questions anyways let's get on with uh what was the third one again <laughs> it's like what was the third one again? oh yeah i'm talking about the fourth one now sorry fourth one the fourth one was bees honey or something like that is honey whacked or 
wasped or something. So anyways, <laughs> they went to the farmer's market, but technically they wanted to go into a parking lot and break stuff. But sadly, the farmer market has popped up and their teacher is there with his lady friend, which is like, well, that's not the lady friend from 2011. That would have been cool if you done it. But considering she is old, I'm like, oh, OK. Yeah, my bad. I was just like, oh, he just likes the older women. But it's like, no, no. Looks like his taste has aged. <clears throat> so his taste have aged, but he didn't age. The hell? <laughs> the hell? So anyway, she makes her own honey and he's there to support her. And well, they got the idea of being like, oh, so the bees do all the work and we can reap the rewards from him. OK, let's find some bees and do it. And this is when we get to the problem number two. Remember the old neighbor, the old neighbor that most likely was pre King of the Hill, Hank Hill. He's still alive somehow. The fuck? <laughs> it's like he's still alive somehow, which I'm like, OK, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. If you reveal that he's a fucking widow, we cool. I will accept that he is still alive if you killed his freaking damn wife. OK, I'll be good with that. But as we can see for right now, we don't know if his wife is dead. We see he's alive somehow. It's been 24 damn ass years. You're like, what, 60 years old or something? <laughs> no offense. He could be 84. He could have changed his life around. He could have been eating very, very damn ass healthy. It's not racist. This is fact. White women are able to freaking live the longest. So if his wife is alive, she's alive because... The stereotype wise facts is that white women are able to live for a long while. So pretty sure if she is alive, OK, I guess I can accept these two. But I kind of wish they were fucking dead. So it helps paint the picture that this has been 24 years and there's no damn way how you're alive. He's alive. The teacher's not aged. The frick. <clears throat> the frick. So they went to his place. <coughs> Excuse me. So they went into his place. They went to his, um, let's say, garage. And then all of a sudden there is a hive. But of course, it's wasps. And well, <laughs> Beavis tries to get him. Beavis uses a rake. Beavis disturbs them. What the frick? Knocks the bee, knocks the wasp hives down. The wasps are attacking be Beavis. Butthead takes a box and put the hive in there, and then they just walk away. <laughs> After that, they basically just wait for him to make honey. And then they decide to disturb him by kicking the damn box, and then Beavis beat the holy crap out of the damn box. And eventually, Beavis, Butthead is like, open the box and get the honey out, because they've been working hard, and they sound like they were working. So they go to the bathroom. They open it and they think that the shampoo that got knocked over was the honey. Oh, well. And of course, they both got attacked by the wasps. So they go into the farmer's market with the box and with the honey, a.k.a. freaking shampoo. The, the teacher sent them straight saying that this is shampoo and this is and I use other type of shampoo and they tried to sell the shampoo for $1,000 and of course no takers. But the least the good news is that they know that the farmer's market has lots of vegetables and why not buy some? <clears throat> so they return home with the box, but it turns out it's not their box it's their teacher's box. They picked the teacher's box by mistake and they're like, oh, great. The boss made freaking damn garden and garden the box meanwhile the teacher is like well i was able to get all my fixings needed to make my special dish he opens up the freaking box <coughs> he opens up the freaking box the wasp strike him he goes running out of his door and then turning right 
the turning left and it just boom right into his freaking van and he's knocked out his lady friend his yeah his lady friend or a lady acquaintance basically just did a freaking i'm out of here and just break through the window and now she's knocked the fuck out like oh my gosh so in the end of this all this whole entire series right now series premiere i will have to say that i'm glad it's back it kept everything but the thing is, is that if it wasn't for the damn ass special things would be okay that's the truth if it wasn't for the damn ass special things would be okay but the thing is that now you're gonna have to tell some stuff now you gotta tell us what happened to the principal i want to see what happened to the previous principal and i would like you to kind of get them annoyed unless he's dead and even then it's like i kind of would like it actually at least have like a kid or something or somebody that resembles him and they just piss him off and crap that would be cool or maybe he had a brother or something or cousin that actually has some of his mannerisms that would be awesome to just laugh at the art teacher did not age but his interest in women has even though most likely that just means that he is old but we don't get to see that exactly we'd like to see how exactly old is he maybe he dyes his hair but he supposed to go all natural which means would prefer actually him having gray hair thank you very much there's many others that's missing like the, let's see what the coach happens the coach has to be a little bit older now and it's going to be kind of fun to see how this plays out it'll be but uh, i don't know i don't know i'm I guess the real crazy question is be the fact of how can this teacher be okay with Beers and Butthead showing up after 24 years and he's okay with it, that he's cool with it. How does that work? Okay, how does that freaking damn work? Almost lots of things is going to be like, many people are going to have some questions. That art teachers have questions. The principal kind of shop questions, be it the previous one or a new one. The gym teacher will have some questions. The shop teacher, every single other teacher will have freaking damn questions if they actually know and seen the freaking folders, which, of course, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some talk. They have a freaking teacher's lounge. There's going to be freaking talk if there's new teachers with old teachers who are like, this is B was a butthead. They went missing for 24 years and now they're back. Yeah. We're missing the big picture here of we kind of need you to talk. You can't just pop this right here and think all is good. The only episode that actually is okay is the first two episodes, aka the first episode, the second and third episode. Well, actually, the th third, fourth episode kind of is a little bit okay, but still messed up because the art teacher is still there. That's the messed up point of this whole entire thing is that with the special basically showing that they came from the past into the future, you got some damn ass questions to freaking answer. And sadly, you don't want to answer them or you're kind of ignoring them and you can't do that. That's the sad truth is you can't freaking do that. You're not the fucking Simpsons. <laughs> and even then, the Simpsons is like, oh, yeah, no, no, no. Wasps do not make honey. Skinner, you bastard son of a bitch. <laughs> it's like, I get to call him a word because he's a bastard son of a bitch because he freaking said something. And I hope I have the clip so I can say, you son of a bitch, you lied to me, you damn whore. You lied to me. <sighs> so there might be more episodes, of course. Chances are there might be. I don't know if they dropped all the episodes, but I just saw two slash four. And all I can tell you is that they are missing the big picture. It's like, Mr. Mr. Judge, you decide to transport them into the future. And you're not going to actually answer freaking questions. 
And I know that chances are you're just basically being funny and having a good hearty hard heart. But seriously, though, you kind of actually need to answer question now questions now before we move forward. Because if I have to wait freaking seasons upon seasons for you to actually answer a few questions of where are they now and who's the principal and what about the gym teacher and what about the other teachers and what about the freaking school psychiatrist, which got pissed off. But I think, I don't know, was school psychiatrist only in 2011? Hmm. Good question. No, no. But it's messed up where it's like the 2011 one just went with it. Just said, fuck it. We just we just basically brought them to 2011, and who gives a shit? And it's like, I would prefer that than what you did here. <laughs> okay, I would prefer that what you did here. But instead, what you did was just this. And I'm like, oh, yeah. In one of them, the first one, they had some, um, excuse me, a Hispanic boy band. With this apparently Hispanic ninja. So they have Hispanic female ninjas in whatever that country is. Yeah, so it's a good idea if you ever say, I don't speak your language, speak of the English or anything. You better be careful. That freaking damn Hispanic ninja exists and she will kick your ass. And she's a girl, meaning that she can kick a man or woman's ass and no one will say shit. <laughs> so yeah, um, good idea not to say speak of my speak of me English <laughs> or I don't speak Spanish or I don't speak Mexican or something like that. It's like, yeah, well, you got a freaking Hispanic ninja out there. She's gonna whoop your ass. So good idea for you to Show some respect or she's going to come over there and whoop your ass. And if she does, I'm booking and being like, oh, first I'm going to take a look at her. But like, damn right. And then getting the fuck out of there just in case she gets a little bit more crazy to kick some ass. And it's like, yeah, I'm not going to get my ass whooped because of this person over here saying some messed up bullshit. No, no, I'm not going to get freaking fucked over by that. <sighs> Anyways, that's the freaking issues. I bet there might be, of course, there's going to be more episodes. The only question is, will he do the right thing? Will Mr. Just do the right thing, answer a few damn questions, and we good? <clears throat> the funniest part is to be the fact of he did in 2011 do some little ab libbed, which was cool. But of course, the good news is that since it's a race, that means this dark little secret of Beavis is now actually non canon. Which, for those who don't know, come here a little bit closer. Come here a little bit closer. Beavis got raped by a man. He got raped anally by a man and left at a freaking bridge. Yes. And he was a person from the school. He has a special guest from the school that goes from school to school. Yes, since that's on canon, that means that never happened. But you know how I found out and how many of us found out? Because they were watching music videos or they were watching a reality show and he was talking about it. But I'm pretty sure it was a music video. So, yeah. And that's what they could do. They could basically be like, oh, yeah, um, that Daria chick. Yeah, she's actually now a senator. You know, it's just basically just do a riff in like a boring music video and they just talk about he's like, yeah, a boring music video talking to, that's targeted to the past. And they're just talking about everyone that graduated and what they are doing now. That would be cool. It's too bad that Hamid does not exist anymore. He might exist, but Hamid was very, very funny and tech support and I forgot car problems, test car, whatever. He was funny. That was a new character that was freaking damn funny. Too bad he doesn't exist anymore. Anyways, I'm just going to end it by just saying I like what's going on, but there's still questions thanks to the freaking special. So now you're going to have to answer those. And if you don't, and you just add laughs, cool and all, but I still have to ponder and ask the question, what the fuck is going on here?